This is Dele Bridge border gate in Stacksbridge in the Eastern Cape. Many people from the neighboring Lesotho country use this gate to gain entry into the Eastern Cape province. But many illegally cross this river through illegal means. Women fall victims of criminal activities happening in the river. They are allegedly carried across the river by young men that are making business here. Disagreements over payments often erupt between the male aiders and women, and sexual exploitation takes place. Those failing to pay are allegedly dumped in the middle of the river. They have to strip their clothes off and be carried by a foreign man who is not related to them. So already the dignity around those women is also exposed. Hence the sexual exploitation takes place, the fees change across the stream when they are crossing over. So for us we are trying to say, this is not only affecting us in terms of cross-border crime. The Lesotho women become victims of this instance because we don't see numbers of us RSA uh, females crossing over the Lesotho for any economic activities. It is largely from their side into our side. So during we, uh, uh, summer season, as it is now approaching, raining and so forth, that becomes a very rife. It happens in the sunset, it happens in the evening, it happens at night times. If the moon is up, they will still uh, continue those operations. For these Lesotho young men, Illegally ferrying people across the river is a business for them. If you want to cross the river, we carry you across the stream and then you pay us uh, 20 rent. But if you have a luggage, it is 50 rent. So yeah, it's not, uh, it's not negotiable. It is uh, 20 rent or 50 rent. It's our job. Some people have allegedly died in the process of crossing the river. More than 50 unknown bodies were collected into the Forensic Pathology Health Facility in Tlokwing, bordering Lesotho and Eastern Cape. These bodies have remained unclaimed. Yes, indeed, they've collected over 50 unknown bodies in the area, but those bodies have since been uh, dispatched to the two districts. They were over 50, in fact, 53 to be exact. Uh, autopsies have already been uh, conducted and all the cases are the subject of a police investigation. More than 100 kilometers from Stacksbridge, it's another border, Hacha's Neck, bordering Lesotho and Matadiele in the Eastern Cape. Here, people from Lesotho are allegedly flocking in numbers and have allegedly occupied the land, with some villages even referred to as Lesotho. Traditional leaders are also suspicious of how some of them have acquired the country's citizenship. Those that have IDs, they do benefit because some of them, they got IDs from the Department of uh, Home Affairs. We don't know how do they get that, but suspiciously, they bought those IDs. And then you'll find that there's another traditional leader, there's another person who is calling himself a king of this area. He's an unrecognized king of this area. Matadiele seems to be the preferred place for those crossing the border illegally, while locals believe the town is getting overpopulated. <laughs> I'll never allow that. The Basotho people cannot be forced to stay in Lesotho forever. Matatiele can accommodate the people of Lesotho. They must come this side. Matatiele is dialect. No, that will never happen. These people have enough land in Lesotho. The only thing they want in South Africa is to benefit from the resources and they have an access to social crime. This must be attended to, otherwise it will cause instability. There are also informal talks of a proposal to incorporate Matadiele and other areas under Lesotho. A meeting is scheduled for next week between Matadiele residents and Lesotho nationals to further discuss the proposal. I'm Gulule Gonyembe, CPC News, Eastern Cape.